everybody, it's your boy Kmon. The big guys the final duel I had with Sword Sword. This is gonna be against the homie, and he is playing Fiendsmith U Bell. So let's get right into it, bro. As I know, I took Sword Soul to the local. So if you guys did miss the other two duels and the deck profile, make sure y'all go go to my channel, check it out. And time of me posting this video, we did hit 4K subscribers. So woohoo! But the road is not over yet. So he rolls first, he gets a five. I get a six, I was like, I'm gonna go first, bro. Finally, we won a dice roll, bro, finally. One, two, three, four, five. All right, here we go, here we go. So I know what he's playing, I'm like, all right, I gotta watch out. So I know my main goal is to summon out Protos at the end of the day. <laughs> so I'm like, yo, if I can get Protos out, it's pretty much GG, you know what I mean? So then here, yeah, yeah, so I'm all right, cool. Main phase here. Yeah, we're ready to go. I think we're ready to go, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna go Ashuna, activate Ashuna, summon out Ashuna. I link away that, and then we do go into the first monk here, which I kinda wanna play three monk again, but I think two is just fine. So I go, Moye, Moye effect, reveal in hand, because we already had it in our hand. I'm like, yeah, it's already in our hand, bro, so we're good to go. So he's looking at it, I'm like, cool, get token, like, anything here? He's like, nothing here. I'm like, okay, cool. So now it doesn't matter if he, even if he does have nib. Well, the nib kind of matters. Sort of kind of matters, but like, we can kind of play around it. Even if he does nib us here, we can still go into our, um, we, can, we can go into, uh, what's it called? our uh shaman and then bring back protos because it was properly s summoned and then still use protos effect to um just destroy dark so we're gonna go she shall she shall search that out some draw then search i'm gonna go activate emergence and then this is when we do get the long yuang here we miss you baron we we miss you baby So now this is when I do go, yep, activate. Then we do search out. Uh, I believe I get, I should get, okay, I do get a Dara here because I didn't want to get any darks because I didn't want to play into like a dark charmer and stuff like that, so. And I'm probably going to actually end up banishing the uh, Shuna Engrave anyway. So anyway, we're going to go effect, summon out token here. Do I banish? I believe I do banish. You know what? I think I still play into it anyways to uh, get it dark anyways. I think knowing me. No, I don't. I get it. Okay, cool. I get water instead. I'm like, okay, yes. Yeah, so I got water, earth, fire, light, all them things, all them things. So now we do go into um, Sinister and then I burn it for 12. I link away that and then we do go into our second monk. Just in case he wants to try to uh, beat over Monk. Then I banish one, banish two, banish three. I summon out the Protos here. Protos effect called Dark, set one, pass. So yeah, we have a full field. And like, sure, me calling Dark is half the battle because he can still summon out his light stuff and do his light things but honestly with a simplified board like this it makes it a lot easier if that makes sense so so he's gonna go engraver here i'm like that that's fine i am not gonna stop engraver at all bro well i can't stop engraver so he does go track here right and i was in a big debate if i wanted to actually banish that but I was like, yo, if he has talents, we're gonna be in such a bad spot, bro. Such a bad spot. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. He's gonna go Lori Lori effect. I'm like, that's fine. I'm like thinking on the summon. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna banish it off rip. So I'm like, if I just banish Lori here, it'll force him into the uh, moon of the closed skies here. So me getting rid of Lori is actually very, very, very huge there. So 
So now I'm thinking of what he wants to do here because being Dark Lock does suck. I'm going to be honest. That, it's bad. It's bad. He can't... <laughs> He can't do much about it, bro. Mind you, I played Ender's Brother. So he does have talents. I'm like, what are you doing? He's going to take. I'm like, hmm. That's why I'm glad I didn't just talents that off rip. So I'm going to banish the breath for 12 once again. Which I guess in reality, it wouldn't matter because it would have got banished. Then he would use talents. Yeah, like, would add a track to hand, use track, bash track, on the rest of the track, you know what I mean? So he's gonna take that card. I'm like, Ugh. so a Protos, Protos is so strong, man, so strong. I think what he wants to do here, I believe he does have Lotus in his hand here. He does into battle, he does actually attack over the She Shao here. Which I'm fine with that actually. <laughs> May phase two summon Lotus, and I'm like, I have an Imperm face down. He thought I had Blackout face down, which I wish I did. Blackout would have been crazy here. He links away both of those. And he does go into his Moon the Close Sky here. He's going to link that away. And he does go into the Requiem. Requiem effect here. And I'm like, yep. I can't stop it. I don't. I, I have Nib in my hand. So I have Nib. I have the Protos. I have an Imperm. And we have follow-up for next turn if need be. I'm not going to Nib here unless he like breaks my uh, board. Then, then I'll Nib him. So he does summon out the Engraver here. He does go engraver effect in graveyard. Uh, shuffle that back. That engraver here. Link both of those away, and he does summon out Sequentia. Sequentia effects, and I do go Imperm. Which hurt a lot, gonna be honest. Does go Field Spell, Field Spell to search. He does get Lotus for next turn, just in case I don't kill him, but we burnt him for 36 already, so. I'm like, okay, cool. My turn, draw. And I'm like, going to main phase. I'm like, I'm just going to Protos. Yeah, I'm like, Protos effects. He's like, yep. Yeah. I'm like, okay, cool. We are ready to rock. So I do go effect you to search. So I do get another Adara here. And I am gonna bash Adara from Graveyard to get back the Long Yuong that's banished. Or no, I get the Moye actually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I get Moye here. Yeah, I get Moye. Do I get Moye? Yeah, I get Moye. Why not? Why don't I get Moye? Yeah, yeah, get Moye. Moye, Moye effect reveal, and then he has game. So we take game number one, 
Shout out to Protos. Was in Protos, I was gonna lose that. <laughs> so we're gonna go game number two. And uh, he goes first. I open up no hand traps. So he does go Field Spell, Fenrir. I'm like, you're just good at the game. He has Burf in his hand. Burf, set one pass. I know, he goes Field Spell, I go Ash. Then I draw, then I draw Droll after. I'm like, okay. So I'm like, all right, he has all these cards in the field. And you're gonna see, the cash deer is putting a lot of work, bro. <laughs> like, it's so crazy how good they are, bro. But we have like a lot of gas in our hands, so. I go activate. Summon. I'm asking, he does unicorn effect here. I'm like, hmm, okay. I'm like, do what you gotta do, bro. And I believe he does get rid of Typhon. Okay. I'm like, not my Typhon, bro. Now I'm going to link that away, and I will summon out our boy here. Then I'm going to go effects. I summon out Vashuda. I'm like, anything on the summon. And he does banish it. I'm like, okay, that's fine. So I summoned out the Vashuda on purpose, so he would, he would banish it with the Fenrir here. So now I'm like... Special this out, which is actually a misplay because um, I am locked into worms. But at the end of the day, I could have just normal summoned it. So it doesn't really matter too much, I guess you could say. <laughs> so I'm going to go long you on. Yep. So yeah, it does not matter at all. So yeah, didn't matter in the slightest. So he's going to go D-Bear and he's going to call Synchro. I'm like, all right, bro. <laughs> you know? <laughs> So yeah, me specialing out the uh, Ecclesia there does not make any difference because I could have just normal summon Ecclesia and then use her effect to uh, tribute regardless. So it did it did not matter at all. And now we are synchro locked, literally. Now I'm just like, pass. I'm like, yeah, you got it. Then go figure your effect, search out. Another one, and I'm gonna go Droll. <laughs> Fenrir, I'm like, we wanna banish. I'm like, right, he gets the murder of the Moya yeah, because he can't banish Token Face down. Summons that out, I'm like, he goes Engraver, I'm like, oh, you're gonna Droll, so you can't. He's like, all right. Enter battle, attack. I'm like, yep, beat over Token. Then 25 or 24 directly. I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like, really a Valor? Special out, Ecclesia. Ecclesia effect. Molie, Molie effect reveal. So he will actually banish it face down, but I still keep said token. And I think, yeah, I'm like, I can't really do much else. So he takes game number two. I'm like, I can't get past this. <laughs> I kept drawing, I drew a hand trap at, at like the wrong time here. So now we're going to go to game number three. And I'm going to go first here. I'm like, okay, cool. If I go first here, summon Proto. Summon Proto, we're good to go. And here, I believe I start off. So I go Long Yuong. Pitch to summon. And I do summon out that. Burn for 12. <laughs> now, I was in a big debate here because I'm like, if I go Moye, I'll have two monsters, right? But if I just go Protos off rip here, we're good to go. So I do go Emergence. 
and I do actually end up getting a Protoss here. So I'm like, you know what? In the long run, Mo Ye, like a She Shao plus this won't be enough to stop his field at all, if that makes sense. So I'm like, if this Protoss goes off, that's once Protoss would actually be the third summon here. So I'm gonna normal summon out this, link away, because I, I wanna have more bodies summon out. This is the fourth summon right here. No, one, two, three. No, that's the fifth summon actually. So I'm like, banish, banish, banish. So I'm right here. I'm like, if he nibs me here, he nibs me here, bro. Effect called dark, pass. <laughs> the summon out cash Tira. I'm like, that is totally fine with me. Mind control. I'm like, he takes Protos. I was like, not my Protos. Yeah, there's not much else he could really do with this, you know? Now he's looking through his deck here to search for the uh, birth off of uh, Unicorn's effect here. I'm like, that's fine. Like, he's still Dark Lock, so, like, he can't really summon anything or do much else here. He's not bidding over Sinister. <laughs> Ooh, pardon me. So, he's going to summon out Lotus here. Link away both of those. And I believe he goes into the Moon of the Closed Sky here. And I saw that. I was like, oh, no, nah, I'm going to banish that. I'm, like, thinking on the summon here. So I do end up banishing it. Burn for 12 once again. He does go unicorn effect. I'm like, do you want to banish this? He's like, let me see. I'm like, here you go. I believe he banishes drag out here, actually. Oh no, my king, my king, our king, Shang Ying get banished. No. And I was reading the card to see what it does. I'm like, well, if you summon a monster, you can banish it, use a spell trap card, I can banish it, and then both effects will burn you for 12. So, yeah. <laughs> My God, one card in hand. He does pass. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm like, it's your battle. <laughs> So I'm reading Protoss, I was like, must first be? I was like, oh, say that. So I'm like, enter battle. I'm going to beat over his, um, yep, beat over that. Main phase two. And I'm going to summon out Adara here. Link away into that. They're going to go Adara effect. We're going to add back, add that back to hand there. So we have discard fodder. Link both of those away. And then we will go into our shaman here. Shaman effect, pitch, target, boop, Protoss called dark, set one, pass. So right now, Protoss is carrying us, literally. So he does go birth here. I'm like, that's fine. <laughs> Gonna go birth effects. So 
some not unicorn. And I'm just like, that's fine. I can't do much about it. It's about he's going to beat over Shaman here. He's going to go circle here. Circle's going to search out his beast. Summon out beast, beast, search. Once again. He does get that card once again. I think we also would summon too, because I did banish his Moon of the Closed Skies here. He passes, I'm like, all right, cool with my turn. I'm like, I call Dark. Reason why I didn't want to uh, just enter battle and swing over for, for 25. Because if he did have um, the spirit of you, Bell, is it when he attacks or direct attack? I didn't want to risk it. I wanted to just straight away call dark every single time. Just dark, 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 dark. Because right now I'm stalling. I have no other cards. I can't, I can't play properly, you know. So our best bet is to literally just stall. So I go dark again, and he. This is where he does go. Unicorn effect to a banisher card from extra deck, which now he banishes Dragon. I'm like Dragon, bro. He do nothing to you. <laughs> so he does pass. I'm like, yo, Protoss is putting in work right now. I'm like, Protoss effect again. He's gonna go effect again a unicorn. I'm like. That's fine. The fact that we still have both she shells is crazy, so. So he does banish out Berserker. I'm like, that's fine. I couldn't summon it anyways because of I call it dark. Now I go normal summon out Taya. I'm like, yep. I'm like, okay. Taya effect. Banish Long Yuang, summon a token. He's like, yep. I'm like, okay. Uh, here, yep. I go into Boxia here, I believe. Oh, no, I go to Shishao. Sheesh. Chenik 1, Chenik 2. So I send the Vashuda and I do search here. Which I believe I get the blackout. I do get the blackout here. Golly. My enter battle, attack, beat over, then attack. I set one, then this is where I pass my turn. And this is where things are steamrolling back to my side because like, sheesh, he's dark locked. I have a, a walking imperm, I have a pop two. As soon as I hear birth effect, yep, I go, yep, target, 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 pop, pop which pops both, and he does have Chamber. I'm like, that's fine. If, if you're wondering why I targeted um, Protoss, because Protoss cannot die by a card effect, so you can still target it with um, Blackout and target two cards on their field and then pop their stuff, and Protoss does not have, have to go because the cost for a Blackout is to a target. You don't have to um, destroy both things for it to uh, resolve, so keep that in mind. So he will summon out his Javara here. I'm like, that's fine with me, man. He can't really do too much with the Shavara here. Now I draw, go to my turn, I call Dark again. He does go Imperm. Which I'm like... 
I imperm his guy. I'm like, hold on, it's in the same collar. I'm gonna imperm your imperm to turn off your imperm. <laughs> and they're right here, just GG. I'm like, all right, normal summon out Ecclesia. Ecclesia effect. And then, yeah, it's over. So, yeah, we end up taking it over Fiendsmith Snake Eye. Shout out to Protos, bro. But, anyways, hope you guys didn't do that. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe, share the video. I'll see you next time, man. Have an awesome one. Peace.